I'm the man. Yeah, you know that. Houdini. Pudigate is on fire. Yeah. Flex on the mall. I'm the man. Oh, that's right. He is back. Rudy Gay joins the show right now. Rudy, good morning. Oh, he's got and, his uh, shirt on. He's got, he's got of course he's got on. it. It's going oh, you notice that? We're starting there, by the way. We will get to the <laughs> NBA at some point. But yeah, UConn Huskies, first first to repeat as champ since 2007. Where are you ranking that team all time? Um, That team? Man, that team was... uh. Man, that's that's uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough to say that, but you know, I, I you know, obviously I'm biased. But that was a that was a really mm-hmm. impressive run, man. I, I haven't I haven't seen a team you know that impressive in a long time. At least not in my lifetime. I'm not saying before they didn't have it, but um, you know, that, that's an impressive team, man. What about 2007? When that? What about 2007, Rudy? When them Gator boys went back to back? That was oh, your. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I mean, that was. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't comment on that. I don't know too much about it. But other than that, you know, this deep cut team was pretty good. <laughs> they called me crazy. Looking at like at your 05 and 04 teams, I, you guys had more, I feel like, NBA players. That Your team was almost more talented than than these, than these this team this year, no? Yeah, we did. I I, I, I think that, that team did have more talent. I just don't think they we, we had the coercion like they did. Like uh, Coach Hurley, um, you know, and it's crazy to see that nowadays with, with what's going on with the portal and, and NIL where kids can just leave. Um, Coach Hurley found a way to get this team to jail. Look, if if you had to put your, your Mount Rushmore together of UConn oh, players, and we, and, and we can do it. We, let's do a basketball style. We'll do five spots instead of the four. Give me your, give me your Mount Rushmore UConn style. Damn. Uh, oh. My Mount Rushmore, I'd say, uh, obviously, you have that Ray Allen, Rip Hamilton, um, Kimba, for sure. Hmm. And this is just based off of UConn or? or, We got the the first top three. We got the first top three. I like the three. Okay. I'm with you so far. Oh, man. Uh, I'd say Cliff Robinson, because he was one of the first ones. You know, you got to put him up there. Um. That's four, nailed. right? Yep, that's you four. You got nailed ben it. Gordon, you got your bass. You I say, look, 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 look. My, my, my Rushmore, I will, I will say Ben Gordon would be, be five. Ben Gordon to me was, uh, he was a killer, especially in college. He was a killer. Kimball, Kimball was my personal favorite coming out of, coming out of UConn and, and like yourself. But Kimball, Cardiac Kimball was, was something to watch at that time. By the way, Rudy, Man, he's this is Complete random what? question, but is there any way Hurley's going to leave UConn and, and take this Kentucky job? Are you hearing anything? Man, I hope not. I mean, the thing about it is, you know, obviously, you know, Kentucky can offer him a lot of money, and uh, mm-hmm. but you also have to live in Kentucky. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's a Kentucky type person. You know what I mean? Hey, we, we we got a thing for we got a thing for shitting on small towns on this show. Yeah, I don't that's know. Great. <laughs> Rudy fits right in. There we go. We just pissed off all of Lexington. Uh, who cares? Moving yeah, to no, the right. NBA right now. I mean, obviously you play for Pop, and and I, why do I always get the Wemby questions? I just want to point out, I did not plan this. It just so happens destiny wanted me to do this. But <laughs> as far as coaches for Wemby. Um, we all talk about how this worked out perfectly and, and it wouldn't have been better anywhere else. Do you think that when you see pop coaching Wemby, that this was the perfect situation? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what pop you're getting over there right now. You know, he's a little <laughs> older now. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what, what's going on. You know, the game has changed a little bit, you know, so, um, I don't know, you know, I haven't been in the locker room or been back, but I, I know he has the knowledge to help the kid. And, um, obviously he has. This guy's running away with the with the with the rookie of the year, and um, you know, I, and also putting up some historic stats. So you know, it's 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 crazy to see him play. It's crazy just to look at him, but it's also crazy to see him play and, and be able to move the way he does. I think it's fun because we there are lists being put out. I, I, maybe the Athletic the other day put out top twenty, top fifty, whatever. And the fact that they're including a kid that's just barely got here already on some of these top fill in the blank lists. Where would you put him right now if you had to? That gives me all the crazy questions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't I'll worry, they the, have to answer too. Uh, I, I would put, I would definitely put him top, top 30 players in the league. Okay. 
plenty and of by the way, moving up. And I think next year he can be as low as top 12. Like, I think he's yeah, that good. I agree. That's what I, I agree. Really, I, I said 24 All-Stars and plus the back. So he's in the mix right after the 24 All-Stars. Yeah, he's right behind right after. So top 30 is appropriate, yeah. Not bad. Not Speaking bad. of all stars, uh, Rudy, you played with Kawhi Leonard in San Antonio. He's he's been in and out of the lineup, but now he's played the most games since that 2016-17 season. Now, do the Clippers this year with a healthy Kawhi Leonard have enough to win a championship? I mean, I, I definitely think they do. They have, uh, you know, their leader who is Kawhi, the championship caliber player. Um, is he on the court? Will he be on the court? I think that's. That's internal. That's internal for them. But um, you know, I definitely think they have enough. Um, when it comes down to it, you know, playoff basketball is totally different than regular season basketball. You're not going to see those 130 point games. The team just winning. You might see a couple, but you know, I think when it comes down to it, you have to be able to give the ball to some people and and, and let them let them do what they do. And um, they have three or four people, maybe five people on that team that can do that. So um, that's going to be hard to beat. I, Oh, I'm glad you brought that up because it looks like they're probably they're, playing Dallas. Uh, and Jamal Crawford said it. Chandler. Wait, what? what no, nah, Chandler. Th- Chandler wearing his Dallas hat. Huh? They can give the ball to. I turned it around. You did turn it around. Why <laughs> would you do that right now? <laughs> it's like because I, I was waiting for the right moment. Gotcha. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah. That, so there it is. They're probably going to play Dallas. It, that's, that's what's happening. Jamal Crawford has made the argument that Luca and Kyrie are the most skilled backcourt ever. Would you agree with that? That's a, that's a big statement. Ever? Well, I mean, ever. Yeah. That, that's his, that's his, uh, I didn't, never ring, didn't I ring a bell. All right. I didn't say it. My bad, Rudy. Go ahead. <laughs> ever? <laughs> ever? Ever? But ever? Ever? I don't know, man. That's his take, man. I don't know. You know? Um, like I said, that's his take. There's a lot of duos out there, but um, <laughs> Scotty you know, Pippen's a wing, dude. He's not a guard. That's not a backcourt. Right, that's that's cool. Well, LeBron and Kyrie was a better better match. Uh, better duo. I mean, well, we're not talking duos. We're talking Ooh, LeBron, LeBron and D Wade. By the way, I mean, how about Steph and Clay? Steph and Clay. Yeah, Steph and Clay. Steph and Clay. The point Clay, I mean, is, for him to say <laughs> ever, it's a little premature for this duo. That's all. That I'm is, and they haven't won yeah. anything yet, so it's like we'll see, we'll see. Uh, by the way, not only have they not won anything, they missed the playoffs last year, and now they're the fifth seed this year. So that's a bold statement. That's a very bold statement. But, but, but with that, Rudy, do you think <laughs> do you think the Dallas Mavericks, out of all of the talent, of all these teams that's putting together bodies of work this year, do you do you think the Mavericks give uh, Denver the biggest threat in the West, or is it somebody else? Who would you like? You, I know you touched on the Clippers, but but who do you think? Um. I think Dallas does. I think um, Luka is a matchup problem, man. Do you have Kyrie, who is all you know, who is technically a point guard out there <laughs> doing what he does? So you know, Luka frees up Kyrie to be what he what he is and what he wants to be, which is a bucket getter. So you know, they're a matchup, and they and with the with the trades they made with Gafford, Gafford's playing out of his mind. Uh, PJ Washington's knocking down jump shots and playing big um, on defense. So it's. You know, I think they're they're definitely a team to watch. They're you know they're not a pushover, not your average five seed. I would say. Hmm. Rudy, we've been talking all year long about the Warriors. Is this the end of this dynasty? Is you know is, does Steph hate Draymond? Is he over all the antics? <laughs> Steve Kerr over it? But they're eight and one in their last nine games, and they look to show some promise here and some confidence going to this play-in tournament. It looks like it's going to be against the Lakers. Do they have enough to not only get through the play-in, but to make a run and, and survive in advance in the first round of the playoffs? I will say, um, playing games are different. Being the play-in uh, for an older team is not ideal. You know, it's not ideal for them to have to, you know, fight that uphill battle like they're going to have to if they want to, um, you know, continue through these playoffs. Do I think the dynasty's over? I don't know. I mean... I mean, from the looks of things, you can say that, but you know, you know, if they have some fight in them, we'll see. You know, during these, during these, um, during these, uh, during these, the, these playing games. But you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be fun to watch. You know, to, to have the Lakers versus uh, the Golden State hmm. Warriors in, in in a play-in series is crazy to even think about. And I'm, and, and we're getting old, fellas. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Start to see not- that. 
This is what Listen. I love this next question because y'all are getting old. Um, we all are, but you're still younger than LeBron, which is crazy to me to say out loud yeah. sometimes. Uh, and we know what he's averaging the 26 points, all those good things. Is there a world where you see a fifth title in LA for LeBron? Uh, this question's for me. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lakers fan base is crazy. I don't know if I want to say what I want to say. (laughs) Hey, listen, listen, Rudy, on on this side, you can say whatever the hell you want. They're going to get mad either way. Just say it. Okay. (laughs) It's a fact. I don't know, man. They have, uh, you know, they have to do a lot of work in free agency for that to happen. (laughs) You know, uh, you can't depend on a 40-year LeBron to lead you to another championship at this point. I don't think so. Um. You know, he's put up some crazy numbers and 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 I, I mean it'll be it'll be, you know, it'll be a, a great ending to his career to see him get another one. But it's gonna be hard. They're gonna have to go to um go go into the free agency. You know, there's a lot of a lot of big free agents out there or one big free agent that they can get um hmm. that uh that can help him. But you know, this year I don't think so. What do you think's the bigger deal to LeBron? The fact that if he's going for a fifth title or the importance of getting to play at least one season with Bronny, probably in LA. I mean, for the person with, with the kind of accolades he has, I think the biggest thing for him will be to play with his son. Um, just like any of us with, with kids, you want to be out there and show them the ropes before you go. So, um, you know, um, and I'd like to see that, to be honest with you. I think people, People, um, I think he deserves it. He's put enough into this game to, to be able to play with his son and, and teach his son before he goes away. I'm like looking at Chandler and Lou trying to read their faces. Like, what do they think about this? Um, I mean, by okay, the way, talk- I think yeah. it'd be really, I think it'd be really cool. I just, I, I, is he, would he would be talking about him if his last name was a James Miley question, but I do think he's got the potential to be a better pro than he was at USC, which obviously is in his favor. And I think it'd be so dope to see him play with LeBron. That'd be awesome. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, I, I, never seen it. I really think the kid can play, man. He can actually play. I don't know. If, I don't know if you know. Well, he's also LeBron's son, so people expect him to be, you know, yeah. what was it? You know, LeBron in o o three, so o three o four, and it's not. You know, I don't think any of us basketball players, anybody on this on this show, thought that was going to happen. So hmm. it is what it is, man. Just let the kid live his life and, and live his own. You know, do his own thing. Uh, we've got Jokic as MVP. We've got SGA as MVP on this show. Who do you have? <laughs> you gotta answer it. No one will get mad. Nah, it's, it's is- like you can't you can't deny what Jokic is doing, uh, what he's been doing for the past couple of years. But to have to have a uh, number two three seed in Oklahoma with all the young players, what their average age? I think it was. You know, I think what was it? North Carolina's team, college team, was older than than, than like, Oklahoma State. Like that crazy. crazy. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. <laughs> and for them to sustain that kind of winning percentage over this season, it, you know, I think. Uh, although I love Joker, I think you got to give it to SGA, man. For that, for that matter. Rudy, I appreciate the T-shirt. It's like you. It's like you knew. What we wanted. What t-shirt? Uh, oh, this one. Sh- yeah, no, that, oh, one, okay. that one right there. We appreciate it. Thanks so much oh, this for your time. Thing. We'll take this thing. We'll take a quick break. <laughs> we'll be back. That man right, has a family. Run it back. Run it back. Run it up. Run it back. Run it up. 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 Run it